Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use my absolute favorite new feature in Microsoft Teams, and that is the ability to become your own avatar. Stick around and we'll make it happen. Okay, about a week ago, the company I work with finally released avatars, and I found it and immediately said, oh wow, this is the way. I mean, let's face it, we're also just fatigued with being on camera so much, and it is nice to be an avatar and just enjoy yourself. It is just, it is just well done here. So <laughs> I just love it. You can do some fun things. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can become an avatar, how to set it up, and a couple of special tips. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is let's make sure that you have the ability to add an avatar. I mean, that's step one, right? So hopefully you can see I have Microsoft Teams nice, big, and full screen. And what you're gonna wanna do is on this left side, you should have an apps section. When you click on apps, uh, within this area, you can see there's all kinds of productivity apps. You're gonna wanna make sure that your organization has enabled avatars. Okay, this is not the movie. <laughs> this is not a James Cameron vehicle. This is your avatar. So go ahead and open that up. And this will open up your avatar builder within your apps. And you can actually notice that on the left side pane. Okay, whoa, what's going on here? My guy's looking at me going, uh, hmm, strange, cool stuff, cool. All right, so you can see I've, I've made a couple already. I'm just gonna make a fresh one. We're gonna start fresh here and let you see how to do it, okay? So let's just open up. Uh, you can duplicate. We're gonna create new so we can just start fresh here. And uh, yeah, you have the ability to really search through this entire list and find someone who's kind of a starter kit for you. Uh, it can be anyone. Now, if you look at me, I mean, this is me. I'm an average, just an ordinary guy here. So let's go back over here and let's find an average ordinary guy. To me, this this dude is, uh, you know, he's a little younger than I am, but it's it's someone to go with. I'm gonna say use avatar. It's kind of me when I was younger. Oh, how's it going? Oh, yeah, this'll do, baby. Let's customize this thing. So body shape, I mean, let's face it. I'm in my late 40s, okay? So I uh, got a little bit of that going. All right, don't like it, but it's the truth. Um, body shape, uh, skin tone, you can really tweak this thing. I mean, depending on where you're at, your skin tone, feel free to do what you want. I think that's probably about right for me. And uh, let's go to the face section here. Yeah, you can really tweak your face and get this thing either how you want to look. Ooh, I like that one. I'd like to look like that, but that's probably a little bit more like me. Let me just back it up here. You know, that's probably a little bit more like me. Yeah, that's a little too skinny. Okay, so that's about right. Let's go to the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, right? So you can do some different things with the eyes depending on what works for you. Just find something that works, right? Let's see here. Thinking that's about me. Nose, kicking that nose up and down, doing what you need to. Uh, you know, you can find a nose uh, and then, you know, based on your nose, look at this, you can, it's like Pinocchio. Whoa, you, you can do some things here. This is, you can get this thing pretty, pretty precise based on, based on your, your system. It's really quite nice. I mean, this seems kind of like a, uh, a dream rhinoplasty type thing. Not too shabby. I mean, really, nose depth, wow. I can't tell why. <laughs> oh, tip angle, I I don't know, let's see here. I mean, this is pretty cool, whoa, 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 how's it going? Cool, all right, so let's say, let's apply that, I mean, not, terrible not terrible i mean it's it's kind of close here mouth same thing you can really get in there and be pretty precise with the mouth right i mean you can really get in there and uh be pretty pretty precise 
just really pretty amazing. Look, it's kind of like the Joker coming back in there. So I'm just going to stick with that. You get the picture. I will apply that one. Ears. Yeah, you can get those ears and um, see what you're rocking with there. I'm going to go with just some good old standard ears. And uh, boy, it really is amazing in terms of that. That's me probably when I'm 90. Me about right now. Protrusion. I mean, look at that. That thing is super precise in terms of what you can do with your ears. Amazing stuff there. Hearing aids, if you have some, you could put those on. So, I mean, really, this is bringing your authentic self. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Hair-wise, okay, so you can do some different haircuts and just have some fun with it. Let's go ahead and customize my professional a little bit more. Do you have facial hair? Do you want some facial hair? Do you want to look like you are a painter? <laughs> some sort of Wilford Brimley character. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so you got choices. I don't have that. And then eyebrows. Let's make those eyebrows a little more realistic i mean little not right there this is getting closer and uh appearance so yeah do you need face lines i need face lines i need a few face lines here based on my mm -hmm. uh myself here this is this is me bringing my authentic self here so let's bring in some face lines, some laugh lines, if you will let's bring those into it and then wardrobe this is the fun stuff here what do you want for your underlayer, right? Do you want uh, want to go a little golf? Do you want to chillax? Do you want um, clippy? That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm going to go professional, and uh, this is me. I would say having the Patagonia-style vest on rocks, but you can see you've got choices of what you want to do and a lot of these choices here, so... Lots of stuff. Do you want the retro ski jacket? This is me. Um, what color for my puffy vest here? Nah, I'm going to go with bright color. My name's Teal. I'm going to go with Teal. I think that works out really well. And, well, let's just hit save, okay? So this is one that I can bring up. I can call up one of my other avatars if I want to, or I can bring this one up. And, uh, yeah, so once you have that, now let's do this. Let's start a meeting, okay? So what we're going to do is go to our calendar, and we're just going to fake a meeting, okay? So I'm going to hit meet now, avatar tester. Let's start that meeting. Here's the meeting, and what you want to do, I want you to notice that you have the ability to go to effects and avatars, and then over here you've got avatars. So you should be able to go into your queue and uh, check some avatars. Now you're going to need to make sure you've turned off your camera, once you've done that, that now generates your avatars. So you can pick from the avatars that you have here and uh, pick one and also pick your background, right? So you've got some choices. I kind of like the uh, seaside there, but I happen to live in Arizona, so I'm going to pick this one. Now you notice that's off. We've got your microphone is on, so I'm going to join this meeting right here. We're going to be live, baby, okay? I could share this with others, but this is just with you. We're having a chit chat here. And um, I want you to notice this. Number one, I'm going to switch over to my real self for a second. You can see I'm waving my arms. I'm gonna continue waving while going back in. And I want you to notice in Microsoft Teams, you don't have tracking uh, like you do with an iPhone with your emojis. all right? So it's not there. It's gonna track your voice really good. I have a super fun thing I found out because I can mix audio <laughs> audio in here. If you have your audio piped in, your music piped in. <laughs> so yeah, your avatar will respond to whatever inputs for audio you have into your microphones. You're gonna wanna be aware of that. That's, that's very important. Um, but again, you won't have your hands moving. To do that, you need to and go into this little more action section, go down to effects and avatars. And in this section, when you scroll down, you'll have different avatar reactions. You can pin five of them. Uh, I'll give you a little example here right now. Yep, cool, cool. 
but then you can show all and then have different bracketed sections, okay? So we're just gonna go through a few of these here for you so you can see. Oh, please, please, you're too kind. Oh, let me make a wish. Oh, don't, stupid part. Okay, whoo, good gravy, yikes, scary. Shrug, you got the, hmm, let me think about that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, what was that? Was that Calibri font? Oh my goodness, whoa, I'm liking this. Oh man, I'm telling you what, there's so many good things that you can do in here. I love the chef's kiss, so good. I, I've been using the, the slow knot a little bit the thinking, um, the big yes one is a good one. You can wave goodbye if you want to, or wave hi. You can do a two-hand wave. Uh, you can obviously do some fun stuff. So there's a lot of different choices in here. Um, by the way, probably the Coupe de Gras, if you will, intentionally missaid, was the robot. I think people love that. Or the wave, the thinking, the fist bump. Now, stupid pet trick for you. You can take any of these, and I found if you click them really fast, you can get a little more reaction on it. So that's just something for you right there. Depending on how sassy you want to be, you can get <laughs> you can have some things that may or may not be super appropriate. I'm just saying you got some choices. But please listen, you're too kind. Thank you. Okay. So this is how you use the avatars. That is the deal. Now, when you want to come back on camera, you can click the camera button and, um, and turn off avatars. So you've got a couple of options there. What I've been tending to do is have the three dots and have the effects and avatars open. And I have been keeping all of these open. But at this point, I'm just gonna stop talking for about 10 seconds and I want you to train your eye on your avatar, specifically the eyes. And I want you just to see when you chill out how your avatar actually maintains some active attention with the audience. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool in terms of just this passive behavior. Now, a couple other things for you just to be aware of to test out here with your avatar. And if we back out of the avatar reactions, you can also uh, have your avatar look left, look right, look standard. And you've got some zooms here where you can bring that avatar up or back. So you've got some flexibility with your avatar and um, hopefully that's some things that you find of value. I know I have loved it. It's been getting great reactions from clients um, in terms of the overall ability to just have a personalized feeling um, in a meeting, but not have to be in so present with your camera. We know how much that extracts on us. If you're on camera all day long, it's just, it's hard, you know, or you might have RBF and, you know, sometimes you don't want to be all happy on camera and this gives you that ability. So that is it. Um, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I mean, I really, really appreciate you coming and checking this out with me. Um, and hopefully this is something that you weren't, you know, too bored with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got to stop. Seriously, I've got to stop here. So anyway, want to sign off here. Just wanted to say thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this avatar special and stay tuned for more presentation plus ups coming to you in the near future. Take care. I'm Michael Teal. Sayonara. Be good.